Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to link a data array to the visualization in Sew Machine V4.1. So let's begin. I'll go to my application tree, go to my code. And then the first I will do here is to uh, define an uh, array I can work with. I will call it data. And the data type, I will use my array wizard to create an array. So here I will define a two-dimensional uh, two array, uh, let's say 5 times 5. And the base type will be integer. Okay, to that. So let's give some initial values for, for them as well. I just randomly put some values. I can see there's data change. Oops. Yeah. All right. So now I have a uh, array, and now I need to create two index, uh, two variables to be my pointer, so I can have indirect access to the data. So the first thing I'll do is. I'll create an index for my column. I call it index call. Also, it's integer. And the next one is my index to row. It's also integer. So, um, yes. And the next thing I will do is create an visualization. Go to my tools tree, right click on application, add object, and add visualization. Yeah. So the element I will use to link the array is called table. It's under common tools in my toolbox and table. Which is completely new in the v4.1, and I find this element very useful, especially for animate and uh, manipulate uh, data arrays. So you can see here I have created empty table, and the right side the properties I have data array. So now I need to do here is link this element to my array in the code. So I open the input assistant application, POU, data, link, and then you can see here the array is already imported to my table, and now it's only appearance I need to adjust to make it look a little bit better, uh, maybe adjust some header text, I can also Adjust the width from here. So let's say a little bit more space here. Okay. So for the row, I can increase the row height. 60. That's good. All right. And if I want, I can enable and disable the headers if I don't want to have them around. So I can also the last thing is to link the index variable, the pointers, to the visualization. The first thing I need to do is make this table selectable. So I can, during runtime, select the cell. So I choose cell selection. And there should be a frame around the selected cell. So I can see which one I selected. And the variable 
if you point at the selected column, it will be my index column. So here it is. And the next one for the row. So now the table is ready to be used. Let's go back to my code. So in the code, I just add um, the indirect access to the data table. So I just type data index column and then index row. And this will, so this line will bring out the element uh, which these two index will point at. So let's try build to check for error. No error, that's good. So I'll split up the window so I can keep an eye on both window and then go to my devices, my controller. Choose the controller to log on. In 251, it's already highlighted. Online, login, confirm, and download. Right now, run the PLC. So it goes to our visualization here. You can see the data is already imported to my table. The initial value I just added randomly. And currently the pointer is 0, 0.0, so there's no element uh, active. Uh, as soon as my in my visualization point at 1.1, the data will automatically uh, fetched. So from visualization, I have now full control of my array. And if I want to make modifications, I can, for example, I want to modify it 1.2.1. I select the cell and then I can just, from my application, just write a value to this, one, two, three, four. Right to the, and you can see the value is automatically added to my table. And if I want to make indirect selection from application, I can also do that. So let's jump to my, just jump to 2.2. So I need to change the index for row, write a two. And now the selected item is 2.2, .2, value of 54, uh, sorry, a 55. 45, sorry. And then you can see the selection is also changed as soon as I change my index. Let's do it again. You can see. So now the um, I can control my array, data array from the table. And this also, of course, works for one dimensional array. So I find this tool very useful and this is a brand new feature in the Sew Machine V4.1. So I hope you find this video useful and for your future application. Thank you and see you soon.